What's going on everybody? My name is Andrew. Today I'm here with Fatima and we're looking at this property that as you can see, it's only half finished and we're picking up this project from somebody else who decided to stop. Now the question here is, is will you as a real estate investor want to pick up a property where somebody else has stopped the work because it begs a lot of questions. Let's talk about it right now. And when you're looking at a property like this, it obviously is going to make you ask a lot of questions. Why did they stop? How far did they get? What was their intention? Why are they selling this like this? Are you hiding anything? There's a lot of things that will come into question here and makes you really need to pry before you make an offer and secure the property because you don't want to be coming into something that you're not going to be expecting. So it's why you need to make sure to have a good realtor who can ask the right questions. So let's talk about some of those questions we ask. Obviously, this kind of place makes you ask a lot of questions. And as a realtor, your job is to ask the right questions. Now, you start off by asking the listing agent some questions. And those answers, you can't really rely on them because the listing agent might just not know all the information. So as your due diligence, you've got to go to the city, you've got to ask around, and you've got to really find out why someone could have started the work and stopped halfway through. In this particular case, we found out that this work had been started without any permission and that was kind of a big red flag on our end. Just because the work was started without a permit doesn't mean we shouldn't buy the property. We just need to know what we're getting ourselves into so we can play our cards right. Now, when you're coming into a property like this and you wanna make an offer, the thing that we have to understand is that in Ontario, we wanna be very aggressive with our offers, so we're making unconditional offers regardless. It doesn't matter what you're coming on it, you really wanna come in without conditions. But a property like this makes people nervous, so a lot of people are gonna be coming in with conditions, which knocks a lot of players out of the game when you have one person Person, unconditional offer but in order to make that offer with confidence you need to come in with somebody who really knows how to look at this stuff you see when you're looking at a property that's unfinished like this and you and, and it's gonna ring certain alarms in your head as to are is this all safe is this all done properly because the first thing that people will think of when you're looking at this and somebody hasn't done it with permits is is it done to code so it's good to have somebody who knows building code that's me so we're looking at this and we can see that even though they didn't do the permits, they did actually build it properly. You can see around where they have done the, the, the supporting beams and they have the connecting joists that they are actually supported properly and it is done to code. So structurally, I can tell that the building does seem fine and there isn't anything to worry about. Obviously, it is alarming here when you see that they have removed the stairs and then you have to go through the whole process of putting them in. But when everything is exposed like this, you can see exactly what's going on. In fact, I would argue that it's more risky going into a property where everything is covered up and it looks like they just might be hiding something. Have you ever gone into a place where you see those basements where they just sprayed cement onto the walls and you don't know if it's waterproof or if they're just hiding something behind there? At least here, we know exactly what we're getting into construction-wise. Now, when you're asking the right questions and doing your own due diligence, you are gonna uncover information that the listing agent didn't disclose. And that right there is your negotiating power. Once you have that information, you don't just disclose it right away. You have to give the listing agent an opportunity to give you this information so you'd ask them to verify and at this point if they tell you something opposite from what you've discovered you know they're hiding something. All right guys, so the bottom line here is that if you're gonna look at a property like this, you just need to make sure that you know what you're getting into. And it doesn't even matter if you're walking into problems because it's okay to take on certain problems as long as you're taking them on for the right price. So you wanna make sure to have the right team, somebody who knows the construction, somebody who can negotiate you into the right deal, and then you wanna make sure that you have the team who can contend with this thing and make you a buck in the process. So if you wanna see how this project turns out, make sure to follow us, like, and subscribe, and we'll make sure to see you on the next hustle. Thank <laughs> you.